So this is the eggs I have to eat for my uh, stomach empty and test. I have to eat uh, radioactive aborted baby chickens. Uh, Jesus, take the wheel right now. And they gave me 10 minutes to finish it. I had to finish it. The worst was the last bite. Never again. So now I, I didn't, after I didn't eat that nastiness, I, uh, they put me in a waiting room. Uh, well, after I ate it, they took some pictures of my, uh, stomach. And they said I had to wait about an hour before, uh, I can take any more tests, any more pictures. But, um, I'm just like, oh my goodness. It says a lot. Still in a lot of pain, still ill, vomiting every day, can't keep anything down. So far, I've lost about 50 pounds. And uh, I'm just like, my heart goes out to any and everybody who have been dealing with all this pain <clears throat> uh, from whatever illness that they have. Uh, being in pain every day, all day, like... It's not a joke at all where there's no relief at all. You know, it, it definitely makes me uh, feel bad for the people who die and are in hell right now because there's no no peace. I Being in pain every day, there's no peace in that. And, and then, you know, you're in hell. There's... Definitely no peace there. It's like, for me, this is like hell on earth for me, what I'm going through right now. Um, it's not a joke. It's creeping up. It's about three months now I've been going through this. And uh, it's no joke. I, I try to keep uh, positive, uh, but... Hey, some days you feel like going on just to glory, you know, and, and this I, this may not seem right or sound right to a lot of you, what I'm about to say, but I'm just going to be honest. I live in the truth. I'm just going to say that people who have illnesses, incurable illnesses, who are in pain like this and... I don't feel like, you know, they should have to go on, you know, living. I really feel like they should be given a choice, like, you know, that that choice. Um, <clears throat> I, even though I told them not to resuscitate me if I have a heart attack or anything like that during any type of medical procedures, I'm sure it's a difference between... You know, saying that and getting set up, you know, to uh, for assistant euthanization, you know, help dying. So I don't want to, you know, be promoting that. This is just from the book of my mind because of what I'm going through, uh, experiencing so much unimaginable pain every day. I'm like, Lord, I wouldn't. I wouldn't wish this on my worst enemy, and I, if given the choice, I if he don't heal me, I would not want to live much longer uh, with this. That's just keeping it 100. <laughs> I, you know, some people, well, what about your, your family? What about your honey? Let me tell you something. Love my family, all my heart. Uh... I do, but nothing and nobody is worth this much pain, this amount of pain every day, all day, no relief. Nah, you know, I definitely welcome, uh, you know, any 
conversation in the inbox for people who are uh, experiencing uh, high pain every day in their body and they feel like, hey, <clears throat> I've, I'm, I'm going to keep pushing. I'm, I want to keep living because, honey, at this point, <laughs> I'm making arrangements like let me get my insurance policy and stuff together and. Yes, I'm praying for a healing and having the saints on it. Been praying hard, heavy hitter. Prayer warrior has been praying for me about my healing. He have not yet healed me yet. I thought he was going to heal me from the diabetes, um, which led to this illness. But no healing uh, as of yet. You know, yes, I have all the faith that he can do it. But sometimes the answer is no. And... You know, we like to live in live in heaven, some of us all the time, and, you know, just say, I'm going to put prayer on it. I'm going to, you know, just hope and wish it away, the pain away. But <laughs> realistically, if it's going to be there, if it's going to be, you know, long term, I would be obliged to hearing some type of, you know, information about hey what you want to do (laughs) you know I just think that should be an option for anybody you know after a certain amount of time you know of course to think about it and you know I never really was a a advocate of that uh, from them Dr. Kevorkian days because the way they just made it seem but I can understand better now. Uh, you know, definitely is a is a decision, you know, an eternal decision that you won't be able to take back. You know, my biggest thing is being outside the will of God. You know, if God ain't told me to, you know, do something, I don't want to do it. But to be honest, I pray. If I have to live with this, if he's not going to heal me, I pray he take my life and just let me go on. You know, I'd rather be with him than here, spend another another 24 hours in pain. No, there's no drug that can help me with this pain. There's nothing. And I'm not taking some stuff they call regulin. I'm not taking that. They say it make you jittery, it make you dizzy, it make you vomit, it make give you diarrhea. I mean, it's giving me just too much negative. But um, with that being said, that's my current situation right now here in this hospital. Just uh, feeling very ill. I mean, like every day and in pain. Waiting on these tests to see how fast my stomach is emptying, which is not because it's not digesting the food. I have to vomit it up and uh, to get rid of it, most of it. But uh, I I just would ask for a shift in prayer uh, in closing that uh, you pray God's will over my life. It may not be his will to heal me, you know, and I have so many heavy hitters and the prayer warriors praying, hey, for me to be healed, for me to recover. Of course, that's, you know, the first thing you do, you go to your family for help and healing, you know, the church, pray for me to be healed. But sometimes, realistically speaking, the answer is no, (laughs) this is just no, not going to heal you. You got to go through this. This is your cross that you have to bear. I thought I would be bearing my cross in a more Christian, exciting way, you know. I'd rather, you know, be on the front lines, you know, fighting a good fight for the gospel, you know, of Jesus Christ than uh, laid up, planted up in my bed and... uh, going through so much pain and sickness and illness. That's not the abundant life that Jesus promised, you know. So 
Sometimes you feel like your only friend some days is your misery. Like I said, I don't have pity parties, but my goodness, <laughs> when you have this type of pain, this level of pain every day, you can't help some days but to be like, wait a minute, you know. And one of our sisters who have this disease along with diabetes like me, she just lost her esophagus. Her whole esophagus just shut down. I said, Jesus, take the wheel. But uh, I'm just speaking from the book of my mind and how I'm feeling at the moment. Thank you all so much for you all support, and uh, I appreciate you guys.